going on guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about the victory track of season 21 in battlegrounds so you might have played this meta in the off season and i've played a little bit of that too so i want to share my uh information right here so let's actually see what the meta is so science attacking is gain immunity to nullify whenever you nullify your poison fails to apply to the attacker due to immunity they gain a fury passive increase and get attacked by 80 seconds for six seconds by eight percent for six seconds so this is basically the good note for us for science so if you use science champions most likely you're going to benefit from this and gain the 80 percent fury and this is really really strong but let's see here so power stack 2 when the attacker trigger is a buff it is immediately nullified and the defender gains 50 percent of power power and this ability has a seven second cooldown so that's why you want to have someone that's immune to nullify because this is going to keep triggering and if you actually trigger that immunity to nullify you're going to get that fury and then here the attacker gains a 6 second placebo, but placebo buff every 10 seconds and whenever the defender is flicked with a non-damaging debuff except for stun reset the timer. So when you're using someone that's not a science champion, you want them to have non-damaging debuffs because you do not want to trigger that placebo on you just because it's just going to get nullified because it is a buff. But if you're using someone that's a science, you don't want to have non-damaging debuffs because you want to trigger this as much as possible because you're going to be immune to the nullify which means gaining that fury so let's talk about the best science champions that here you're going to use because this isn't mostly going to be at, at the most attackers are going to be science so let's talk about the buff immunes here the buff immunes we have ant-man uh you know he can definitely work basically if you're completely buff immune you do not benefit from this node from the science node but you completely counter those two nodes so it's, it's basically like using, using you know, let's say you use Ant-Man or Cassie, they're both, both buff immune. Nothing happens. It's just a very, very simple fight. And then it just depends on the defender you fight. So Ant-Man is immune to buffs. Cassie is immune to buffs as well. Red Guardian is immune to buffs as well. And lastly, Titanium is immune to buffs. So those champions counter the nodes, but they don't benefit. But So that means they're not the best. It's just they can be used um if you don't have other options there's also mr negative here this guy is basically immune to the nodes but he's also immune to nullify which means he is going to get those furies because he's going to trigger that nullify immunity so he definitely is one of the best signs you can use and then there are other other champions that are not immune to buffs but they're immune to dexterity so there's quicksilver he's immune to dexterity and then there's also silk which is immune to dexterity as well now, the bad thing about uh, Silk and Quicksilver is they inflict non-damaging debuffs. Quicksilver has whiplashes and Silk has those physical vulnerabilities, which means you are never going to trigger this placebo unless you wait it out. So as you can see, the attack gains a six second placebo buff every 10 seconds. So if you wait this 10 second timer and then you get that placebo on you, it is going to get nullified because of your science and you're going to get that fury. And then, you know, it can just deal a lot of damage. But then you can inflicting non-damage debuffs left or right with those two attackers. Which means you're probably not going to see another Fury. So, they can work, but they're not the best. So, who is the best? You want to use someone that's not buff immune or dex immune. Nothing like that. Those are the best ones. So, Hulk, amazing. You're going to get that placebo on you. It's going to get nullified. Or you can just trigger dex to you know trigger the power stack and that gets nullified too and boom there goes your big fury you can use torch you can use joe fix it joe fix it can do 30 second fights with the damage he's getting again mr negative really nice because he benefits benefits from the node um some other champions that can work scorpion increasing his damage with the furies means more damage on his uh powers things and all that stuff and then you can also use spider wings to get decent damage spider pit and uh, spider ham um miles is really good too i use him in the off season he was pretty nice and uh spot overseer i would say those are the best ones because they're not immune to dex they're actually going to trigger the node which is what you want when you're a science champion now moving on to the skill class i don't think anyone is really that great for this uh there's no one really that can inflict non-damaging debuffs like consistently to actually like counter the node um unless you have like someone like elsa but I would just probably avoid using those uh, skill champions because it's just going to make the, the, the fight difficult. Now from the mutant class, there is Archangel, 
I am pretty sure this guy can probably shut down the node and then, you know, nothing happens. So, yeah, probably going to be a really good champion. Now, for the tech class, there are actually some champions that are immune to nullify, meaning they are going to counter the node. So, no power snack, no dex, or no po no power snack from dexing or plus from placebos. So, uh, yeah, I, hopefully I don't forget anyone. So, the first one right here is Omega Sentinel. She is immune to nullify, really, really good. There is also Red Skull, which is immune to nullify. And then there is also Viv Vision. I think those are the three ones that are immune to nullify. However, I think there was a bug with Red Skull in the offseason where he was starting with no armor ups, meaning they got nullified. But as you can see, they, he's immune to nullify. So that hopefully will be fixed by the start of the season. There's also Shuri that can be somewhat better than the normal champion because she is immune to dex. She does not gain any dex buffs. So, yeah, it's only placebo that's going to hurt you there. And then from the Cosmic class, there's only one champion that kind of stands out, and that is Galen. This guy is immune to nullify as well. Provides immune to fate seal and nullify effect, so he can definitely work. And then from the Mystic class, no one really can work, but there's a lot of champions with power control. So you can go with, like, Doom. You can go with Chavez. Which means, you know, if you have like three zones, three of those negative zones with Chavez, that means that you will, or two, reduce your opponent's ability party by 60%. If you have two, that means the power snack is going to get reversed, which is really nice for Chavez right there. Uh, and then you can also use some other champions with power steel like Hood. You can definitely work right there. But that's, you know, mostly this season on attack, that's mostly going to be science. And it should be science because you just get benefit. And it's really much safer for the node for for the for the node now for the best defenders though let's talk about that so from the science class joe fix it you don't really want him to use a lot of specials and with power snack that can be a problem um there's also photon photon if she's in pure life form and you know you get a placebo buff on you or something and she gets like a bar of power or gets to the special too you might be down for because you don't want her to, to throw specials when she's in life from because the unblockable. So that can definitely be a bit annoying for sure. And then a Quicksilver might be a bit of a trouble if you don't really know how to dex his special 2. That, you know, Power Snack could actually push him to the special 2 uh, and you might mess up. Now from the skill class, there is some defenders that are probably going to be the best ones because people are going to use science. So you mostly want to have skill defenders here. Um, there is Atuma. Atuma is actually really... Sorry, not Age of Venom. Atuma is actually pretty annoying if he throws a lot of specials because you're going to have to parry him. Is uh, If he has, I believe, 16... So if he has 19 stacks of hydration, he becomes passively unstoppable. And he can get that if he starts with like two concussions, if he's highly sigged, and throws a bunch of SP ones or special twos. So if he gets that, you're going to have to parry him, which means you're going to get concussions. That's going to increase his damage, his damage back, so... I think it can definitely be a bit of an annoying one. Now, there is Bullseye, probably the worst defender you can fight in this meta. It's either him or Serpent. You know, this guy is so annoying. You, like, you have to bait SP once from him. And then, by the time you bait it, you give him another half bar of power, which means he's going to get the Killer Instinct again. And he's just going to be loop here. He's just going to throw a lot of SP once. And just, yeah, ruin your day, probably. There is Kinkpin. This guy, if he gets the special 2, and he's most likely going to get the special 2 because he's advanced combat power rate based on the rage stacks, he has the unstoppable, lasting for 7.5 seconds. That's quite a bit, so... Yeah, King can definitely slow you down for sure. Might not kill you, but it's definitely going to slow you down. Then there's also Killmonger, this guy, with his reverb, his, if he's high sig. The power gain might mess up your, you know, reverb rotation. And let's say you want him to have 0 bars of power when he, when he activates the reverb. He might just get like half bar fiber, which, which means you're going to take some damage back. So that can be a bit of an annoying one. But, uh, you know, there's also some other defenders that could be nice. Like, you know, Mole Man would be nice. Nick Fury. Just because, not because of like the, the, their tough specials, but because they're skilled champions. Which means like science are going to have a harder time. But there was like one clip with, uh, against Nick Fury, I was using my rank 3 Spider Ham. And I, f I finished the fight in like 60 seconds because of how OP science champions become from the node but still it's like class disadvantage from the mutant class there's some that might be a bit annoying so i think sinister if he throws too many specials like if he throws two sp1s you take some damage 
Special to use that concussion, so definitely a bit annoying. And you might get clipped as well against stunned. There is also a lovely onslaught if you get the special two where you don't expect it. It's gonna be immune to it's gonna be reverse controls, and that might be game over. So definitely watch out for him. And lastly, Weapon X. So I think Weapon X could be a problem because every time he throws a special, he pauses his charges and he also gains some more when he's uh when he's he's a berserk mode. So that can be a bit of a problem if he like corners you because the amount of charges he has. So definitely watch out for him. Now for the tech class, Penny Parker might be a bit of a problem if she throws too many SP1s. However, you can make it so you know bait special twos with the node. Red Skull, same thing with Kingpin. If he throws a special two, he gets that unstoppable, which definitely sort of slows you down quite a bit. And the more bars of power he gets, the more tanky he becomes with those armors. So definitely a good one. Shocker can be a problem because his SP2 has a lot of block penetration, I feel like. And then if he throws too many SP1s, you're going to have to intercept him many times to actually be able to use a special on him because he just auto blocks. I can see him being very annoying. And then shooty might be a problem because of the block damage of the specials. Unless you can dex them. I can't really dex them. And then lastly, warlock here. If he throws too many special twos, well, you know, you have infection on you. You might start losing a lot of health because of your willpower. Now from the cosmic class, there's some champions here that yeah, definitely a problem. Adam Warlock has his own passive power gain, so that can help him get to the special two. Keep that in mind. It might be an issue for sure. And uh, Galen, if he throws too many specials, he gets buffs. He might get to one harvest. If he gets to one harvest, even with 100, you're going to lose at least 15 or 20% of your health. Uh, that's for sure. And then I think Hyperion can be a problem because of his power gain, especially if he's a duped one. He can easily get to the special three for sure. And uh, there's also Nova. He has his passive power gain. Definitely can be an issue, especially if he's awakened with the buffs lasting longer and all that stuff. Terex could have a cool interaction with that power stack. Might just push you in the corner. Might take some damage from his rock field. I can definitely see that being annoying. And then there's also Arcus. Arcus has his own power gain. And uh, the more the, the fight goes the harder the fight gets. So he might actually get the special three unless you can nuke him pretty fast. And then of course, what do I have to say for this guy? Power gain, death immunity. Yeah, block damage. He's He's got it all. He's gotta be the worst defender. Like, yeah, genuinely the worst defender in this matter for sure. And then here, Mystics with Mystic Dispersion. Oh man, if you don't have a science, every single one of those is gonna be a problem. But who are gonna bring the worst ones? Chavez, even if she gets the special two, that is a problem because she might have a negative zone and that's a rip. Dragon Man has his own power gain. Could be a bit of a problem, but he can easily like block one hit from this one or bait special two to like remove the power charge. But what if he's not willing to do that? You might get a special three. Now there's this guy. This guy could be a very sneaky defender. So when this guy actually gets the nullify from my opponent mission, no, if I buff from the opponent mission, he actually can't do that thanks to this power snack node. So if let's say you have a placebo on you and he gets uh, power snacked, this guy is going to degen you because he actually completes a mission. So if you don't have a science champion, there is no way you don't lose health from Ebony Maw because, you know, there's 10 seconds for this placebo to apply. And if it applies, you're going to take damage. The only way to avoid that if you're not a science champion is constantly applying non-damaging debuffs on the opponent. Now I don't know if there's many champions, if any, that can like apply so many non-damaging debuffs to the opponent uh, so frequently. So Ebony Maw definitely want to have a science for him, 100%. Kindred might be a problem as well with the extra power gain, too many specials, too, you have to like block hits, give him charges and all that stuff. Long shot, if he's high sig, oh man, this guy can get so so easily to a special three because he can nullify the placebo buff you know on his own if let's say power stack is on cooldown so yeah this guy definitely don't want to fight him without a science champ it is not going to be a fun time and then you know there is also a man thing he has mystic dispersion his own buffs expiring where he places those uh toxic potions buff on you yeah that can be an issue with md and then power stack paired to that mangog really tough special two to evade it's a lot of block damage Mephisto has his own power gain. Oh man, that can be an issue too. 
Mojo. So if this guy, if you get a placebo on you and it expires, there is a chance to get a Dijon if you complete if you uh, completed the the mission that he said. And then there's you know there's also Rintra with his own power gain, Destroyer with his own power gain, and uh, Wong with that uh, heavy attack that can be a problem with a power gain. So you know this it feels like this season or this this victor track is going to be mostly science on attack and then those mystic defenders are going to be the strongest and cosmics so yeah mystics very easy if the opponent has a science attacker but if they don't it's a very bad time so you definitely want to have some mystics just in case the opponent doesn't get like full science attackers but if they do yeah they're pretty much prepared for everything so yeah you definitely want to have mystics skill defenders so you know mystics if they don't have science and if they do have science you got those skill to actually kind of like slow them down so my deck would be like mostly science on attack and then skill defenders mystic defenders that's what that's what i, I would i would try to do but yeah guys hopefully this video helped you and if it did please give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one